Hi, it's Miss Dowling, and today we are in my kitchen because we're going to be doing some really messy artwork. Now, I've been painting with this beautiful turquoise paint that I made um, a piece of furniture, a little cabinet. But the story that we just read, The Legend of the Indian Paintbrush, the um, main character, Little Gopher, didn't have paint that you buy in a store like this. He had to use any of the materials that were around him. So they were all natural resources. So I went to the grocery store and I got a bunch of different natural resources that we are going to try to paint with today. So I got a lemon, a little tangerine orange. I got some strawberries, blackberries, uh, cilantro, and beets, which are a root that come with leaves. So today we're going to see which of these items makes really good paint, just like people from hundreds of years ago would have used. Now, we have paper that we're painting on, but back then they would have painted on pottery, they would have painted on skins, like animal skins. They may have painted on rocks, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to use the paper. So let's get started. All right. For our lemon, I'm going to try to use the peel of the lemon to see if I can get any color on my paper that's yellow. Now, I'm an adult, so I'm allowed to do this. I have a knife, and I have my little plate. So I'm going to just try to cut off a little slice. It's pretty thin, like that. And now I'm going to rub it on the paper and see what happens. Who knows? It's an experiment. Okay, so number one thing I found is the juice is not colored. But if I rub really hard, maybe if I do a little bit of that, kind of getting the peel open, maybe that'll help. I'm going to rub it on my paper. Hmm. Well, it works a little bit. Let's see if you can. Sometimes my camera's weird. It got a little bit yellow, but not a whole lot. But a little. Okay, so that's not bad. All right, next, let's try our little tangerine. So that's orange. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just cut a little section of the peel off. Now this, let's try some of the juice from inside the orange if I stamp it. All right, the juice doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's just kind of clear. So let's try the peel. Let's rub it on. It's way juicier than the lemon. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's a really light orange color, kind of yellowish. So that's good to know. All right, I'm not using any paint brushes right now because we're just really struggling to even get any color out. So there is the orange. So we've got yellow and then orange. All right, so we'll see what happens as it dries. All right, so that was our citrus. Oh, it smells good at least. Okay, I'm getting another piece of paper. This time we're gonna do our berries. So I got some red strawberries and some blackberries, which look pretty dark, but I'm curious what will happen when we try to get the juice out of them and paint with them. Okay. So here's our strawberry. All right. Okay. Wow. I don't know if you can see it. That is beautiful red color. 
I think I could do a whole page with strawberry. It's so juicy. Like paint. Pretty nice. All right, and I'm gonna do the other half with a blackberry. Oh, did you guys see that? Just totally burst open. All right. And this is making a beautiful purple color. Now I, there's seeds on it and the pulp, but after I'm done, I think I could brush those off and just be left with some really pretty color. All right. Mm, my hand is disgusting. All right. So we've got the red from the strawberry and the purple from the blackberry. So we're going to set that aside to dry. Okay. New paper. This time we're going to try some leaves, two types. We're going to try the leaves of the herb cilantro and we're going to try the leaves of the beetroot plant. So let's try the cilantro first. I'm just going to pick a few leaves off. The dogs are in the background. They're always excited when we're home. All right, and I'm going to smush them and rub them on my paper. Ooh, I like this a lot. This is really nice. Cilantro, um, they use in, at Chipotle in the rice and a lot of Mexican food has cilantro in it as well as other cultures use a lot of cilantro because it's very flavorful. So look at that, that's pretty incredible. That's very green. Okay, next we're going to use the leaf from the beetroot. So let's get a big one. Now what's interesting about this leaf is that it's green, but the stem that runs all the way up through the veins of the leaf is a reddish purple color. So I'm wondering if that's gonna make uh, a difference. So let's try the green of the leaf and then let's see what happens with the vein. Just gonna wad it up and then rub it. Kind of, whoops, sorry. Kind of the same color as the cilantro, very nice. All right. Definitely smells different because it's a different plant, not something that you'd probably eat. All right, so we've got cilantro and we've got the leaf from the beet. Now let's try the stem, see what happens over here where there's some blank space. I'm going to just crumple up the stem, break it open, and rub it. Oh my goodness, those doggies are so happy to be, have people home. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. I'm really impressed with this stem of the beet. Look at that. That is red. I wish the colors on my video were better. Hmm? There we go, maybe. All right. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to set that out to dry. And finally, I'm saving the best for last because I know every time I've ever cooked with beets, uh, my hands turn like a bright red because of the color of the beet inside and it stains my fingernail beds. Um, so I know that there is some really good color inside of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open on my plate. These are pretty tough to cut open when they're raw, so make sure if you do this that you have an adult help you at home. All right. Look at that. That's amazing. It is so red. And look at this. I'm just going to rub it on my hand. You can already see the color that it brings. It's very vibrant. Way more than the red strawberry. 
Okay, I'm gonna set my plate aside. I'm gonna get my white paper out. And now, I'm gonna try a few different things. I'm gonna try to stamp it. Stamp and twist. Nice. Stamp and twist. Those are really nice. Um, I kind of feel like I could just draw with it. Like, let me try a star. Nice. Look at that. I did stamps. I could turn those into roses, I think, and I could do a star. Um, this seems pretty effective of all the things. The um, blackberry was great, but this you can be really precise because it's not as wet and juicy. So I could probably even try to draw a stick figure person with my beat. Maybe they're even holding something. Maybe they're going to go try to fly a kite. There we go. Where's my person trying to fly a kite? All right, that's excellent. Okay, um, so let's review. We have the beets. That was my favorite. I did save it for last because I think it's the best. We had the um, green of the cilantro as well as the um, leaf from the beet. And we have the stem of the beet. And these are kind of dried, but we have... Mm, turn it. Does that even help? I don't know. The lemon and the orange. And the strawberry and the blackberry. All right. Um, I don't have any of this to send home to you. However, I hope that it inspires you to try something new. Um, it was kind of an experiment because... We didn't know what was going to happen. Um, it's an art project and it's just a lot of fun. So you don't need all of these materials. You don't need all of these natural resources. But if you are at the grocery store with your parents, it might be fun to just ask them for one of these items. and You can try this at home. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks.